Hello lovely world. So, a lot of stuff to, dis to dissect today in today's vlog. For example, we're going to talk a little bit about sports. We're going to talk a little bit about something else called a theme park. And then we're going to probably talk about something else along the way. Now, let's start with sports. So, a big thing happened last night. And they haven't been to the World Series since 2008. That's been a, that's 12 years ago that they last went to the World Series. And I don't know what to say about it. I'm happy because that was my prediction. Even though it took them seven games to, to make it to the World Series, I'm still, you know, half right in my pick. Uh, a couple, what was that? About a week ago, maybe? Or less than a week ago? I predicted it would be the Rays versus the Braves. Now... The Rays are in. The Braves are not. The Braves played today at 5.15 against my most hated team that I don't want to even have to say their name, which I'm not. I'm hoping and praying that the Braves have just enough left in the tank to get to the World Series this year. There's It's Game 7 t tonight, which means that... It's do or die for the Braves, for me, because I want to have both my picks in the in the World Series this year. Now, I'm not a Braves fan, I'm not a Rays fan, I'm just saying that I predicted that those two teams would make it. Now, I know a few, I know a few individuals who are Braves fan, for Braves fans, and I know a few individuals who are Rays fans. Now, that doesn't mean that, you know, the Rays are going to win it all this year. They're just one step closer to it. And the World Series starts on Tuesday, I believe. So today is the final game of the National League Championship Series. And then they get a whole, they get Monday off, and then they play on Tuesday in the World Series. So, that's, that's one aspect of sports I want to talk about today. Now, I know I don't... I said I wouldn't talk about the Niners or anything like that for a while. And I wanted to keep true to that, but there is a big game tonight. Now, I'm not saying they're going to beat the Rams or anything like that. It's, it's going to be the Rams are going to are gonna come to Levi Stadium in Santa Clara and play the San Francisco 49ers. And... And it's Sunday Night Football, so it's not going to be until 5.20. So I'm probably going to have to be flipping between the two games tonight. Now, with that all being said, I'm, not going, to, I'm going to move on to my next topic, which is the fact that Disneyland and California Adventure are still closed. And it's because of our governor. And I kind of understand why he's... Once it's his remain closed because he doesn't want thousands of thousands of people at the theme park to get COVID and then have a whole big thing around Disneyland. But the parks in in Florida are open. I think they have a capacity set, and the governor of Florida allowed it to reopen. So why can't our governor, you know, have a restriction on how many people? go to Disneyland and California Adventure and have it be reopened at this time of year because this would be, you know, the best time to go is when they have the decorations for Halloween. And hopefully, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but hopefully by Christmas time we'll, you know, we'll, it'll be reopened. And, you know, it's not just, you know, I mean, other parts of the world are still, are opening up more and more now and that's great for those things it's just I wish I wish that Disney Disneyland would reopen and you could go back there and have a set capacity where it's not like you know however many they can fit in the park at a time maybe like do a 5,000 or less of you know of a crowd that could go to Disneyland and ride the rides and all that stuff. Or maybe even a thousand. Something, a small gathering. Not like a huge, huge gathering like 
have the park fully reopened and stuff like that. But just have it open for a certain amount of individuals and do it that way. Now, I could be wrong. I could have misunderstood it. And sometimes I do misunderstand certain things about about the parks and all that stuff. But from what from what I, I've heard and from what I've gathered, that Ga- Gavin Newsom doesn't want the parks... What doesn't it? The parks aren't reopened, Disneyland or California Adventure or anything on the downtown Disney, unless I'm mistaken. Like I said, I could be mistaken on all that information. Now, I did watch another horror film last night. Let's talk about that. I watched the the Grudge film. It has John Cho and a whole bunch of other actors you've probably never heard of before. And it's the America, Americanized version of Grudge. Even though, you know, it still has to have some of that, you know, that Grudge feel to it from the the Japanese version. And I'm not... the Jap- I'm saying the ones that took place in Japan and, you know, in Chicago and wherever else it was, the first three were better than this one. It just in my humble opinion. I'm not saying, you know, don't go watch the new Grudge film. But I liked the the Grudge 1, 2, and 3 better than I liked the new Grudge film. Even though the new Grudge film was released earlier this year or was it last year? I can't remember. But currently I'm watching all of the American... I'm going to watch all of the American Pie films from American Pie 1, 2, The Wedding... The, the all of the American Pie Presents films because there was a new one that was released this year called American Pie Girls Rules, and I wanted to watch that for uh, since I got it. I'm all, I also pre-ordered a movie too. I pre-ordered the new Mutants film, which does isn't released until November seventeenth, so it's a while before I'll probably get it. So maybe November sixteenth I'll get it. Um, in my in my account, and then with that being said, I know I kind of rambled on a little bit about the the Rays going to the World Series, and hopefully the Braves finish off the my most hated team that I don't like tonight, FI fifteen, and then I talked a little bit about the Niners, but I'm not going to go into full detail of that. And we talked about Disneyland, and hopefully it'll be reopening soon. Just just a little insight. You know, I want to see. I want to go to the new areas that are that are part of the Disneyland California Adventure, whether it's the new Star Wars area and the new Marvel Academy, all of that stuff. Maybe next year we'll do that, and I'll I'll film it and we'll put it up in a video on on YouTube from my phone. But that won't be until twenty twenty one. We still have you know a little bit a little bit of time between now and then, and. It's what, 70, what did I say, 70 something days until Christmas and then it's, you know, only 14, less than 14 days away until Halloween and then about a month until Thanksgiving, so, and then 2021 will be here before we know it. Anyways, I'm going to let you all go, but before I do, I want to wish, Z- I want to wish Zach Efron a happy birthday today. And anyone else who has a birthday on this 18th day of October 2020. So, happy birthday to you all. And I will see you tomorrow on the 19th day of, of, of October. There's also, we're getting closer to day 300 of b 2020. We're also getting closer to almost 1,200 days of consecutive daily vlogging. So that's something to look forward to. Just thought I'd share that with you. All right, I'm going to go. Bye-bye.